Hey everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage. Today I'm here with a product manager, Bo, uh, who is going to demonstrate our new uh, strut and coil spring compressor. Uh, we have some questions from a previous post that was on Facebook. We're going to take care of them. If you have any questions, Scotty C is not in the house today, but you can still post the questions and we'll take care of them, uh, take care of you and answer them today or uh, until tomorrow probably. Uh, so if you have any questions, if you're watching it recorded. So Bo, um, before we get to these questions, we, th this had been posted on Facebook. People had some questions, so that's why we're going to demonstrate it today to answer those questions. But can you show us what you get in this kit? Yeah, basically you get the... Uh Main compression piece, it's a Acme screw, screw type uh, compressor. Mm -hmm. So there's a threaded rod in the center, you spin this top piece and the two arms here will come closer together or expand apart. You get three sets of shoes for different size springs. This should allow you to cover Can Joe see almost these? all normal springs for uh, passenger vehicles. Then you get uh, an extender block in case you have an offset spring or a spring of different sizes. Like, like this one? one? So you can still get to it. To I exactly. You can get a better position on the top part with a smaller piece and then grab one of the larger diameter uh, rings. Okay. And then six bolts to put the kit together. All right. So before we demonstrate it, we've got a couple questions um, that people had from the, last, yeah. from the last time we posted this. One is, it appears that there is no lip on the jaws to hold the coil in place. And also, the lip appears to be made of plastic. All right. So can you show, show them this? Yeah, so I'll Answer just the uh, plastic part first. Joe, can you uh, see this? Let me come in closer. So each set of shoes comes with a piece of plastic for protection. Um, and basically, all this is designed for is preventing damage to the coating on the spring so you don't chip your powder coating. Um, and as you can see, the plastic shoe has a lip here. And then if you remove the protective shoe, the base shoe is made out of uh, steel, and it also has a lip. Um, that way the lip can grab the inside. Hold on, we have an audio problem. Oh. I think we're, Bo's audio may have cut out. Can we check your pack? Yep. I don't get too friendly here. You can you keep talking, Bo? Hey. Or Bo, what are we, do we have Bo's audio yet? Uh-oh. Hold on. Well, we're going to. Wait, I have, one's off, one's on. Is that the Uh-oh. Bo had his audio off? <laughs> we back on, Bo? Are we here? Look at that. Okay, hey, I'm back. We're good. Oh, well, it's, okay. Do well, I need I'm to start over? start over with the question. We're not going to start completely <laughs> over. So, somebody to... Okay, we're just going to start over. I'm not going to throw you under the bus. I'm good now. with that. It was probably Joe's fault. It's always Joe's fault. Okay, so, um, sorry about the audio issue there. So, we're, we're going to start off with the questions. So, it, um, we posted this to Facebook a few weeks ago. There were some questions, which is why we're going to demonstrate it today. The first two questions are, it appears there's no lip on the coil, there's no lip on the jaws to hold the coil in place. And the second question is, it appears the lip's made of plastic. Yes. So, so to we, cover get it all, back, we get Joe back in here. And come on in, Joe. We're going to do this again. <clears throat> so each shoe comes like this. It's a cast steel shoe with a plastic protective cover. The protective cover, which is right here, is designed purely to protect the spring itself from damage to the coating. Um, the powder coating, the paint that's on it. It has a lip right there, so it will hold the spring. And then the cast steel piece, again, has the lip and will hold the spring and gives you the strength so that the spring won't crack or break it. So the plastic's just for protection to protect your spring. It is. It's to keep the springs pretty and the paint, you and know, you, from chipping. You wouldn't have to use it then, right? You don't. Actually, I prefer not to use them. Um, without the plastic uh, protective piece on there, I feel it grips the spring a little bit better. Yeah. It gives you a nicer lip right there. Um, but that's just my personal preference. You can oh. use them either way. Okay, and finally, if you're removing a spring, how are you supposed to get the jaws out from between the spring and the perches? Or if you're installing the spring, how do you get the jaws out once the spring is in pro place? So I'm gonna hold this up. I think what the guy's getting at is, if the jaws are out here, Joe, can you, do you see what I'm getting at here? Gotcha, that looks good. If, so if the jaws are on each side and you compress it and put it in, you can't get, the you can't get it out. Yeah. But as you're going to demonstrate, that's not how it's used, Yeah, right? exactly. When you use it, you're going to want to put your jaws in here or in here, um, grab inside of where the strut mounts to the spring, mm -hmm. and then that will give you enough room for compression to remove the strut. Okay. Now, before we get started, because we had some audio issues to begin with, let's quickly go over what you get again in, All right. in this kit. So you get this. Uh, this is the main piece to it. It's an Acme screw type thread. Um, it's designed to screw down or expand. It holds the jaws, and this does all your compression for you. Mm -hmm. You get three different sets of jaws, which allow you to cover almost all uh, typical day-to-day um, -day daily drivers. Yeah. 
You get an extension block in case you're working with a spring that has an offset to it, like the large black spring here. Where so you that allows you, gives you more distance. So that exactly. connects into here, right? It does. This piece will go in here and bolt in, and then you can attach a shoe to there. Um, and it will allow you to have that offset feature to get you a better grip on the spring. All right. Well, do you think you're ready to demonstrate this yeah, for everybody? Yeah, let's do it. So, and again, if you have any questions, like I said, these questions that we already answered were from a few weeks ago. Somebody posted on Facebook, so we decided to come live and answer them. But if you have any more, uh, we'll try to get to them today or answer them overnight if we can. Yeah. So I'm going to go over and see if we have any questions. I'm going to turn it over to you now that your right. audio is on. Nice. <laughs> so we'll use the red spring. You can see it better. The first step is to pair the proper spring size, uh, shoe size to the spring. Um, like I said, I prefer to not use the plastic. It just gives me a little bit better comfort level. Um, so you just size it and you can look on the inside of the spring and see that it fits properly. So now that I have the right shoes, I'll take the cover off of both of them. Um, the next step, we install the shoes on the actual compressor. Um, this is a pretty simple operation. There's a hole in the shoe and a hole in the uh, screw assembly. You just set them together and then bolt in one of these screws to hold it in place. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm actually going to move these off to the side so you can see the operation. So then the next step is to take your spring and then adjust the compressor so that it's properly aligned to where you want to grab on the spring. Simply just pick it up. You can screw this by hand. It's real easy. And you just want to compress it down again because we want to get into the center, not on the ends. So for this, we can just set it in like this and continue to Tighten it up until it grabs. I don't know if you want to come in here, Joe, just so you can see how it hooks into the shoes. Sure. But when you do this, you want to make sure that the spring is always set to the inside of that lip so that it can't pop out and cause damage to what you're working on or yourself. <clears throat> Once you're ready to start doing the compression, um, you can either use a ratchet with a 21 millimeter socket, or you can use a 21 millimeter wrench or ratcheting wrench. You just slip it on the end here, have it the right way, and then you can start compressing the spring down. It's very easy to do, um, doesn't require much strength at all. And as you can see, it compresses the spring pretty quickly. Um, all you need to do is compress it enough to get the strut on there, put the top hat on, and you're good to go, or to remove the strut. Once you've installed the strut, you just reverse the process, where you'll loosen up the spring with the strut in there. Again, very easy. and then you'd be done. Um, it's as easy as that. The main thing I like about this is it's a lot safer than external spring compressors or internal spring compressors. Um, a lot stronger, so it makes it easier. That was actually one of the questions. Yeah. Is there ever a <laughs> time you feel like your life may come to an end? Um, but no. If it's no, I mean, it, you always have to be cautious with these because of what you're doing, yeah, but this is- Because you're compressing a big spring. This is much safer than the traditional methods of doing it. Um, you know, unless you have like a big shop with an actual wall mounted unit, this yeah. is the next best thing. Cool. Well, thanks for the demonstration. Thanks no for taking care of those questions that we had from a few weeks ago. And again, if you have any more questions on it, uh, we have a video uh, demonstrating this as well. Yeah. that's going to come out, I think, later this week. And, you know, but again, if you have any questions, post them and we'll take care of you. And we'll probably see you again in a couple months, right? Yeah. Back here. Yep. Next live video. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for joining us. And don't forget to join us every Wednesday at 3 Eastern Time. All right, thank All you. Right, let's get out of here. All right.